NBA power rankings since the All-Star break. Number one is the Phoenix Suns. Honestly, not that surprising. One of the best teams offensively and defensively as well. They're just one of the teams that really can move the ball around and really shoot the ball very well. Number two, the Memphis Grizzlies, another young team on the rise. And honestly, John Morant's been really leading them. It seemed like he got injured last night, though. So that could be very concerning for them. But all the while, they've been playing very great and been very good the whole season. Number three, the Warriors. Honestly, they've been playing great. They played a great game last night against Portland Trail Blazers, the game I was at. And honestly, they destroyed them. And honestly, Steph Curry didn't even have that well of a scoring performance. They really took him out the most of the game, actually, which is honestly very surprising. The Warriors being number three makes a lot of sense. Their shooting has been up a lot, and Clay Thompson has just been improving every game since he came back from injury. Number four, you have the Miami Heat. Honestly, makes a lot of sense. In my opinion, Jimmy Butler has been really leading this team, and they have a lot of young up-and-coming people, and it seems like anyone they draft can become a good player, a good role player for them at any moment. Number five, you have the Bucks. Of course, they're, they're the defining champs of this year. They're definitely a good chance of going back-to-back, -back, and they're just probably one of the best teams in the NBA right now, offensively and defensively, and I think they're probably the best team right now. Six is the Celtics, which honestly, with their performances lately, they've definitely improved, and a lot of the high hopes people have for them this season, they definitely haven't have shown that they have capable of that, and I think, in my opinion, they're definitely going to be making it far in the playoffs. Number seven is the Sixers. Honestly, with adding James Harden offensively, is going to improve them a lot. And I feel like they're probably going to be one of the best teams. And I think they're probably going to make it pretty far in the playoffs as well. Number eight is the Mavs. Honestly, I agree with this. I think they've been one of the sleeper teams all season. Have really improved. They traded Porzingis away, which was a great move. Got Spencer did windy, and they've just honestly just been improved every game. Number nine is the Cavs, which I felt like what really trained them is adding Evan Mobley. I feel like that was the missing piece they really needed. Evan Mobley... Jared Allen and Darius Garland have both been playing great. All of them have been playing great lately. Have been one of the best players to play for them in a while. Former world champion boxers Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko say they will help defend Ukraine against Russian invasion. Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko have said they will help defend Ukraine against Russian invasion and joined Ukraine's reserve army last month. And Vitaly is currently the mayor of the country's capital, Kiev, which honestly is very interesting. I didn't know this about them. Vladimir, I just thought, was the one who fought Tustin Fury a couple years ago. And now it's kind of good to see that they're doing something very good, what's happening in Ukraine. Honestly, very good for them. Comment down below your opinion on this, and drop a like.